kina Jack of all trades, master of none, take on Magliel and Galanza all by herself? This was the question I asked myself when I attempted to take on Magliel and Galanza with Catalina. Now, Catalina is known to have a diverse kit of abilities. She has a skill that gives her invincibility, but unlike Vasaraga's Undying, it only lasts for a few seconds. She has a heal, but it doesn't heal as much as the captain's healing ability. Because with the captain's much better healing per second capabilities with her much faster healing skills cooldown compared to Catalina. She has both close and far range moves, but is a lot lower damage compared to any other DPS heavy characters. She has a lot going on for her. But if you start comparing her to other characters, you'll see others outshine her in their respective playstyle. But this is actually great for her. Especially in a solo fight where she is able to fill all roles by herself without needing to rely on other crewmates. And with her Ares, you can somewhat call it a 2v2 against Magliel and Galanza because she gets support from Ares buffing up all her skills and damage. But you know, it's not really a 2v2. But it would be pretty cool and quirky if Ares did actually start fighting alongside her. With all these in mind, I was pretty confident in taking on this challenge with Catalina because she has a lot going on for her as a solo crew team. But before we go to my attempts, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and check out my other solo Magliel Galanza runs with other characters after this video of course. A lot of you are also new viewers so I would greatly appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. We just hit 300 subs recently thanks to you guys so hopefully we'll get to 350 subs next. Small steps. We're back with another solo challenge run featuring Catalina this time. She's gonna be taking on Magliel Galanza by herself. She is the Miss All Arounder, the flashy Ares wielder. Not so much damage, but I think she's a really cool character. Catalina, the build we're using for this challenge run is we're using Gamma and Alpha because Lucilius is out. I've been grinding him a bit. We're gonna put in two gammas for a full gamma cap trait because with using the SBA we get a five thousand no a fifty thousand shield so that's huge especially for a solo fight so we have a gamma just to do a little bit more damage and the reason why I'm not putting one more gamma is because I need a damage cap for utility uh, trait so I have this damage cap with potion hoarder. Tyranny with auto revive. Of course, War Elemental for more damage. Life on the line for quick cooldown. Because uh, we want to have our cooldowns, our skills up to keep Ares going. Then we have Nimble Onslaught. You know, invincibility, especially with a fight like Magdal Galanza. I've, I've been using this for every single solo run I've done with Gandagosa, Vasaraga, and Rosetta. We get three seconds, three more seconds of invincibility which gives us an opening. So after we do a perfect dodge, we get invincibility frames and also gain a SBA gauge and our skill is gonna cool down by 5%. Uh, Overdrive Assassin with Nimble Onslaught and the other one with Nimble Onslaught, it's Steel Nerves because I do have Stout Heart. So Steel Nerves is gonna increase my defense because I will have Stout Heart active. Critical hit rate for so that we have 95% critical hit rate. That, ha that has improved dodge because improved dodges are going to help me with Nibble Onslaught. And then just Guardian's Conviction on Katina. Ideally, I'd have Guardian's Conviction with something useful like another quick cooldown or Cascade. But I don't have it. Uh, I never got one from Transmarveling. So we're just using this. The reason why I'm not using guardian's honor is because it doesn't really help that much it's a five percent skill cooldown when aris is summoned it's not that big especially compared to other traits that we could have so that's the reason why i'm not using it and also no supplementary damage because i don't really have space for it here especially in a solo fight although guardian's conviction does give us supplementary damage only when aris is summoned so that's gonna help with damage so her weapon we're gonna be using of course her terminus weapon I put in critical hit rate 9 and guts for this one. Critical hit rate 9 helps with our critical hit rate and then guts because I wasn't I'm not able to put in guts with all these sigils. And I want guts at least so that we have some more survivability. We have like a second life. That's a good 
survivability option. Then when we go to over masteries, uh, I got a really good one earlier today. <laughs> Thankfully, before we did the run, I got one with normal attack damage cap up to 20% and critical hit rate to 16. It actually brought us to 95% critical hit rate with Catalina. And then the skill damage cap up is just a, a nice bonus. Ideally, we have skill damage cap up and skybound arts damage cap up. But my priority was normal attack damage cap up and critical hit rate. So we're sticking with this. With her skills, we're gonna go with two damaging skills that are enchanted lands, which is like her dash. That can combo into Ares, combo finisher, and then we have, of course, Winter's Rain her best damaging ability especially with aries and then our other ones are for utility so one is light wall for invincibility if it goes terribly i might switch this to something more useful like glaciate or maybe uh, Emer emerald shield so we have defense up initially right now i'm just gonna stick with this and then we'll see later if i will have to replace it with something else and then the other one is, of course, Azure Sword, so that we get Ares maxed out right away. An easy maxing of Ares. So let's take on Magyogalanza. Alright, let's just see how this goes. We go this. And then we just <laughs> mash. Why? Did we got? How much is that? That's seven percent. So that's basically the game plan. I abuse Catalina's ability to get invincibility with Light Wall and Nimble Onslaught, and sneak in as much damage as I can do before invincibility runs out. It's a pretty straightforward and safe strategy because I'll always be hiding behind invincibility. The main problem was I don't really have a lot of time before her invincibility runs out. And with Catalina not being able to dish out a lot of damage in that short time, it was a game of how often can I perfectly dodge their attacks so I can get invincibility and do some damage. Right, you can't dodge. You can't dodge, what am I doing? Uh, it, it removes Ares. There we go. Wait, oh, this keeps my Ares up. What? Okay, if, even if I was down, I still had Ares. Okay, now if I get invincibility, we just combo. I should start with Ares back, actually. Oh, dude, I have a shield, right? What am I, why am I just, why am I not abusing it? I should just abuse it. So one big thing about this build is the fact that the new Sigil Gamma is so strong because of the shield it gives. If you have Gamma fully leveled up to 30 with 2 Sigils and you use your Skybound Arts, your character gets a 50,000 shield. That's right, that's a huge ass shield and that gives Catalina so much leeway for just dishing out as much damage as she can after an SBA. Trying to ignore all the attacks that Magliel throws while I spam all my attacks and abilities on Galanza. And that is so satisfying to do. Then just abuse the shield. No! SBA. And then we'll abuse the shield we get. We still have shields. And with that strat, I was able to kill Galanza pretty much with ease. And then he's dead. Oh shit, he's dead. He's dead, right? Nice. Well, that's Galanza down. There we go. Oh, that was a mistake. I should have started. I should start with Ares back.
<laughs> yeah, okay. Now with Magdiel, I still had so much resources left. I had so much potions left, so I was pretty confident. With Magdiel's shield though, it was hard to get through without SBA. So compared to Galanza, I had to heavily rely on having my SBA in order to break through her shield and then barrage her with attacks and skills with Ares up to deal as much damage as I can. SBA! There we go. Okay, now we just combo her as much as we can. Yeah. See? That's good. That's good. That's perfect. Nice. That reached. I was scared it wasn't. Oh? And then break? Oh. Holy shit! This is so good. No, why'd you have to bloodthirst? Just stay put. Oh, that was such a fucking cool combo. Link time and to abuse Ares. Magdiel's weapon did make the fight challenging because it was difficult for me to manage Ares with all the weapons focusing me at the same time. So I decided to take them all down before focusing on Magdiel. Stop healing her! You asshole. Okay, nice. No more healing from you. It's so chaotic. Okay, nice. Stop playing around. Alright, now we killed... I think we can... Yeah, okay, you know what? Let's probably just ignore the gun. And with that said, it still went pretty smoothly. I just abused the shield from the SBA and Gamma interaction. And Catalina's light wall for extended invincibility. There you go, you bitch. I wanted the skills. Nah, I don't think it does. And the fight was finished. Nice. I think that's it. Right? I wonder if that's actually it though. Oh, that's it! <laughs> Come here! I'm gonna hit kill you with a regular attack. Oh! <laughs> with a regular attack. <gasps> That was our first try! I just realized! We got it in run number one! Yo! Catalina's broken? If you're watching this on YouTube and you enjoyed that video, you can go ahead and check out my other solo runs. Also, leave a like on this YouTube channel. Um, comment down below who you want me to try out next. Who's the next solo fighter? If you enjoy this type of content, I make videos like this. I stream these as well, these solo challenges. So make sure to check out the playlist where i've done this with other characters already before also make sure to check me out you can watch me do this live on this youtube channel also on twitch.tv slash phfaust with these wonderful people who were chatting a while ago that's it thank you so much i'll see you next time youtube peace Bye bye